You know, I remember, Andy, when I first was taught the concept of a dream circle, I know you've heard this, where we have these huge dream circles, but then we get our income circle, which is so much smaller. And what most people do is they reduce things, they take things out of their dream circle to make their dreams smaller to match their income circle. And I remember being at a seminar where they told me that you're supposed to increase your income circle. And the first seminar I ever went to, that was the first thing I learned is, you know what, I can have so much more than I ever really dreamed was real by just increasing my income, as simple as that sounds. I heard it in a way that said, from what you're making to what you want or your dream, mm -hmm. that, that creates stress. So mm -hmm. the way a lot of people solve it is they reduce their dream to right. make their income, then there's no stress. Right. I was like, hey, yeah, I'll take the stress. Yeah, I want the bigger dream. Exactly. I mean, because it's war, it's fight, it's worry, yeah. it's time. But hey, it's I want worth it. it. This is what I want. I agree 100%. So I just didn't know you could do that. You know, I mean, I love that you heard it differently than I did. But yeah. the bottom line is it's the same thing. Average people are average for a reason, and they they do it they just they let go of their dreams and you of all people as a matter of fact i'm a pretty big dreamer but since i met you i dream bigger than i have for a long time because i'm tired of flying commercial buddy <laughs> every time you get on that jet i get you know i get this feeling like I, i'm just not working hard enough well for me nobody ever told me i could do it yeah you said you had a mentor said you could do it i had a mentor that said i could do it and then give me kind of a stress test in other yeah. words if you want this stuff this is what you gotta do yeah so my goal almost went from the goal of the dreams to the goal of at least i can do this and at least i can do this mm -hmm. and then it just kind of surprised me what yeah. following the formula did to creating dreams and then a couple of crazy breaks yeah but if i wasn't about if i wasn't out there being stressed if i was on my comfort zone my couch yeah. i never would have come across you well, and to your point, like once you decide to take on the stress and you hit a goal that's here, it clicks in your brain, right? That if I could do it here, why can't I do it there and, and there and there and there? It just keeps going up and up. So it, it staggers me that people see incremental results, but don't project them ahead. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, I, I remember making my first $3 and then $30. I was like, oh my God, if I went from three to 30, to 300 to 3,000. Right. And I see people that make money and they don't see it scaling. No, they don't. And they like, get into a comfort zone. It's very common. That's one of the things we've talked about so often is they they make 10 grand. They have a few thousand dollars in a the bank. They have their bills paid. And then they just stop where someone like you and you know myself to a lesser degree, but still it's like, well, if I can do 10, I can certainly do 20 and I can do this and I can do that. So maybe if you're not thinking that way you need to think that way because you know good is the enemy of great and, and if you're settling for good results you're never going to get great results i was always like if i get here i could get there if i could get here i could get here and the last thing i will do is go back right i'm going oh. to war yeah before i go back yeah yeah, yeah. that's when the fight strikes out exactly because the worst thing about success is having it for a little while that's unacceptable. So again, to your point, do whatever it takes to keep it once you got it. So you get it first. You're on commercial, but you're in those first class seats. You That's never, true. It's, you don't never want to go it, back. No, no, it's not a disaster. It's just, it's not, it's not Albright style. So, you know, I'm, I'm working on it though. First class is good.